Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here, and in this video I am answering some questions from Cora related to music software. And somebody has asked uh, in music production, what is the best PC alternative to Logic Studio? So I get asked this question quite a lot, um, particularly about GarageBand and Logic, because they are both owned by the company Apple. You can only get them on the Mac operating system. So there are plenty of fantastic alternatives to GarageBand and Logic Pro X for the PC, for Windows 7, for Windows 10. Um, and I'm going to go through my two favorite ones in this video and then also give you some honorable mentions and some cheaper alternatives too if you want an entry level door. So basically um, Logic is the professional version of GarageBand. So GarageBand is free and Logic is the professional version. So if you want something that is similar to Logic and as powerful as Logic, it kind of depends on what kind of music you want to make. So if you are wanting to do electronic music production or hip hop beat making, uh, anything experimental, um, my absolute favorite digital audio workstation is Ableton Live. Um, I have been a professional music producer for over 15 years now and Ableton Live has been my favorite, uh, my go-to for music production for at least the last eight years. So I have been using uh, Ableton Live since version 7 and the price is, I mean, it's hard to compete with the price of Logic Pro X. It's around 200 US dollars. It's a little bit more if you want to get the standard version of Live, uh, which is about $449. Um, you can uh, rent um, a version for six months, which is kind of cool for about $70. That's a new option. Um, you can even rent the uh, suite version, which is the complete version of Ableton Live. Um, the, the fantastic thing about Ableton Live is you can use it on both Mac and PC. It is an amazing piece of software. Uh, I have a tutorial that I can show you how to learn Ableton Live in about 10 minutes. Um, get you started with all the basic features. Um, and it's, I mean, even if you're a singer songwriter, this is a really great option. Another great thing uh, about Ableton Live that I really like is that you can try it out for free. Uh, Ableton Live uh, gives you a fully functioning 30 day trial. I think it's got a 90 day trial on it now. Wow. So you get it for three months completely for free. And then any piece of uh, any, there's no restrictions. So any song that you make in the software, any recordings you do, you can save them and then you can open them up um, in, on someone else's computer that has it, Ableton Live on it. Or if you purchase it in the future, then you can open up those projects you made during the trial period. If you are more of a live instrument or you're wanting to record bands, um, the typical studio software is, has to be um, Avid Pro Tools. So I've been a Pro Tools user for a long time and almost every commercial recording studio that I've worked in as an engineer um, has had Pro Tools. It is a really robust, really solid, fantastic piece of software. Um, it's one of the oldest digital audio workstations around um, and it, it's really good uh, for mixing music in particular. You can even do some electronic music production, but it is more geared towards the recording of live instruments. But there are plenty of hip hop artists, plenty of electronic music producers that do use Pro Tools. You can, it's a very versatile piece of software. Uh, Pro Tools is both a Mac and a PC, which is, which is great. Um, and it's very comparable to Logic Pro X. It comes with a lot of its own uh, virtual instruments and a lot of its own uh, plugins for effects, a full suite of air uh, effects and um, a lot of great things to get you started. So the pricing uh, for Pro Tools is around similar to um, Ableton Live. You can, it's a little bit more expensive actually than both Logic and Ableton Live. You can get a one year subscription for around 300 US dollars. Um, or you can purchase an entire, the entire product um, permanently for around 600 US dollars. There is a version called Pro Tools First. I'm not sure. I think it's pretty much free these days. 
Um, last time I looked at Pro Tools first, it was free. So you can, if you want to try out the software, let me see if I can find it now. Pro Tools first. Um, you can sort of try it out with Pro Tools first. Yeah, it is free. So um, it's like a restricted version of the software. Um, it'll give you a certain amount of um, tracks and, and basic, you know, instruments and things like that to use. So Pro Tools first, if you want to give it a go, and then that's a great thing. You can try out Ableton Live, you can try out Pro Tools. Um, and I, I also have a one hour tutorial, complete beginner's guide to Pro Tools. If you're interested, I'll leave the link to that video in the uh, description of this video. So I have a few honorable mentions. Pro Tools and Ableton Live are both fully functioning, high-end professional digital audio workstations. If you want something that's, um, or actually before I go to the entry-level digital, uh, digital audio workstations, I do want to give an honorable mention to Studio One, which is a fairly new digital audio workstation by PreSonus. So I road tested this a couple of years ago at one of the studios that I was working at. And I found it to be probably the closest uh, digital audio workstation to Logic Pro X that is available on the market. Um, and it is uh, both Windows and uh, Mac OS, which is really great. I haven't recently looked at the pricing, um, but last time I looked at it, it was quite... Um, let me have a look here. Let's just go to the pre-Sonus shop. It was quite reasonable because uh, it's a, a, a professional high-end a digital audio workstation. So what can we find here? Okay, so for PreSonus Studio One, you've got about a hundred dollar version um, for the artist, the entry level, and then the full fully fledged is about four hundred, which is which is really great. If you're a home studio user or you're a beginner, you might want to go for the artist version. Um, but this also does have a fully functioning trial for 30 days as well. So you can try them all out, which is really great. Um, a couple of uh, other honorable mentions. Cubase is also a very good piece of software. I started out on Cubase. Um, I'm not really going to go too much into it in this video. Um, but um, if you want to have a look at Cubase, um, it does uh, have a trial version as well. I learned very early on how to, I got into digital music production via Cubase. I have not been using it for um, the most recent few versions um, because I have been, I really only have, you know, enough focus for about two or three digital audio workstations. So I tend to focus on GarageBand. Uh, Logic, and then also on Ableton Live and Pro Tools, uh, mainly my four main pieces of software that I use as a professional music producer. But GarageBand is more for teaching entry-level students how to get into uh, music production. So the two entry-level digital audio workstations that are available for the PC are Mixcraft and Reaper, and they are both pretty good pieces of audio software. Um, Mixcraft, the last version of Mixcraft that I road tested was Mixcraft 7 and uh, so it's currently had two more versions since the last time I looked at it which was only a few years ago which is great. Um, the Mixcraft and Reaper are both quite cheap um, so if you if you want to you can uh, try both of them out. The Reaper has a 60 day free trial and uh, I'm pretty sure there'd be a free trial on Mixcraft as well. So Mixcraft um, is only 75 US dollars. It's an entry-level digital audio workstation comparable, probably a little bit more powerful than GarageBand on the level of GarageBand. And Reaper is a slightly different flavor. Um, it's it's more, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of different features in Reaper. It, the, the functionality and the graphical user interface is different from a lot of uh, doors that I have used. Um, but I know a lot of professional music producers, or quite a few, that actually are Reaper users. Um, they really like Reaper because um, there are a lot of modifications and macros that you can build in with Reaper. You can actually get under the hood and uh, do a lot of your own custom uh, little sort of things. So uh, that is available for, I'm pretty sure, Windows and uh, Mac OS. Yes, there we are there. Reaper. Um, and if you want to purchase that, it's about $60, I think. 
$60 for the discounted license if you are a, and it gives you some specifications if you're using it as personal use uh, or a small business under $20,000 a year, they say you can have the discounted license. If you're a big school or a big commercial studio, then they ask you to get the commercial license. So my top three picks as PC versions of Logic Pro X are Ableton Live, Pro Tools, and Studio One. An honorable mention for Cubase, which will always have a special place for me. And the two entry-level digital audio, work, digital audio workstations are Mixcraft 9 and Reaper. I hope this answer gives you something to go on. Um, I would not spend money before trying out the software, which is why I've chosen all pieces of software, which give you a fully functioning free trial. If you enjoyed this content, everybody, please do subscribe to the channel and pop on that notifications bell. That will really help me out getting my content to you. And uh, any likes and, thing and comments are always welcome as well. That'll make the YouTube algorithm happy and make sure that my channel stays alive and healthy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.